Circuit. A sunny afternoon here in the north of Italy, 31 degrees Celsius. And as I say, it is an all-cart republic front row of the grid. Arvid Lindblad, a red-hot favourite for this. Starts on grid two, though. Ugo Ugatuku starts on pole position. The American to the left of your screen. 326 for Ugo. 304 for Arvid. Simply look for the familiar silver bell helmet of the American. There he is from New York, USA. His mechanic, Stephen McNeil, who worked in the past with such names as Clement Novelak. Can he take a title here this afternoon with his young American charger, Ugo Ugachugul? There is Arvid Limblad. He's got an enormous lead of 103 points. Over Carol Pashevich coming into the final, even if he has a disastrous race. Well, it's hard to see anyone beating him to the title, but he still has to do the job over the remaining 16 laps. This is his closest challenger from Poland, Kart 358 for the Tony Kart Racing Team. Carol Pashevich, third on the grid. It's an all Polish second row of the grid, Timek Kuchacic. And the RK Kubica cart. Out of grid four, three, four, three. And out of grid five, a lot of support for Il Siciliano Alfio Spinner. Three, zero, three for the Cetila racing team. It's a Kart Republic chassis. He starts out of grid five alongside Josh Irfan in the Cosmic for the Ricky Flynn Motorsport team. Three, two, four. Josh has been in great form. This weekend has been really quick for the four-time World Championship winning team. There is Josh on your screen. The best of the RFM team at this point in the weekend. Just behind Maxwell Dodds, 3-3-1 in the Paralin. Look at the side pods, look at the damage, look at the wars he's been in this weekend. The boy from Leeds in the north of England on the fourth row of the grid. Alongside another English driver for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Fast, Freddie Slater in the top three all weekend, rarely out of it. Here we go, the junior final with Lindblad out of grid two, but leading the championship by an enormous margin. As ever, we will keep you updated with the virtual championship throughout the course of the 16 laps. So we go through the grid, which looks like this. Ugo and Arvid on the front row for Cut Republic. Pashevic and Kuharchik, the Poles on the second row. Spinner, Erfan, Dodds and Slater. Harley Keeble and the fastest qualifier, Brando Badoer. Sixth row of the grid, Igor Chepel, who was on the podium at Lanato. Maceo Capietto for Team Pantano. Tappan and Maxim Rem, Miriam Pingasov, Alexander Gubenko, the Russians. On that row of the grid ahead of Christian Bertuka, Dawi Dedeka, Dion Gouda, and Ian Baby Eichmanns in the Speedwear.be Cosmic. Then we go behind him to Sonny Smith, Max FC from Luxembourg. Alex Yanku from Bucharest is alongside Aidan Neat. Then it's the boy from Brazil, Emo Fittipaldi, and the French driver for VDK Racing, Maxence for Bruges. Rafa Montanese, the Peruvian, is alongside the Austrian Paul Ribeira. Aaron Recepi and from Pisa in Toscana, Nicola Lacorte. Valerio Rinicella from the eternal city of Rome is alongside Tom Bracken. Giovanni Trentin and from Mallorca in the middle of the Mediterranean, Lucas Flutza in 3-1-0. The Cut Republic out of grid 34. Lindblad will need, will need a catastrophe to lose the title. But as you know, in motorsport, anything can happen. Oh, that's a cliche. <laughs> it is true, though. But he's got 103 points to Carol Pashevich. Starts on the second row of the grid. He will line up behind Ugo, who is to the left of your screen on pole position. The junior final. We race. Watch Pashevich immediately into second place. Lindblad. Push back to third. Good start by Spinner, the Sicilian. Up into third, Lindblad. Is he going too cautiously? He's already back into fourth place. He's one spot ahead of Kuharchik. He's behind Spinner, who pushes Pashevic down into the hairpin as Ugol skips away. 
the field scatter at the exit of the hairpin. Look at the lead from the American at this early stage of the race. Pashevich in second place, just from Spinner. A crash further back in the pack has eliminated two, three drivers, including one from the VDK racing team. That's Max Hans for Bruges. Attempting to restart, he abandons it. The French driver is out. Spinner. 303 makes the move into second place. Goes by Pashevich, nicely done. But the lead to Uga Chuku is nine tenths of a second. It's going to be more than that as they continue to fight. Lindblad is 304. A relatively clean start for this 16 lap junior final. This is round four of the 2020 WSK Supermasters Series. We are back here at Adria after an enforced break, you know why, of 135 days. The Ricky Flynn Motorsport drivers, Josh Irfan, Freddie Slater go side by side. They trade positions. Spinner in third spot from Dodds, then Lindblad Kulharczyk, and now Slayton leads Irfan after they swap places just a few moments ago. There is Freddie, he's 327. Josh is 324. For the legendary team run by Ricky Flynn Motorsport. They're inside the top 10. There are five English drivers inside the top 10. Dodds in four, Lindblad five, Slater seven, Irfan eight, and Harley Keeble in ninth place ahead of Brando Badoer in the second Chetila Racing Cart Republic. He's ahead of Pingasoff, Chepil, Tappen, and Eichmann's up to 14. That's a good start from the Belgian. And then Christian Canipo Bertuca in 15th place. 3-0-3, Alfio Spinner on screen at the moment. He's on the podium. He's fifth in the series. The virtual championship, 3-83 to Lindblad to Pashevich on 3-0-5. The warning flag goes out for Harley Keeble. It's been an aggressive start. Plenty of bodywork, or contact, I should say. Some of the bodywork wasn't the cleanest we've ever seen prior to the start. We've already got a couple of retirements. Max Hans for Bruges, there's his card in the background. And Dion Gouda, the Singaporean, joins him on this, the fourth lap of the race. Pashevich just starts to pull away from Spinner. A familiar style of the young Sicilian jumps out of the seat. He's got plenty of horsepower in that IAMI engine, don't be fooled. But he's absolutely on the ragged edge, trying to reel in the pole in the Vortex. Tony Cart, who runs in second place. Then it's Dodds in the Paralene. New team for the English driver for this double header weekend. You can see the G-forces as he rides the bumps in fourth place. The arm movement right behind him is Arvid Lindblad, who has dominated this weekend. Arvid did win at South Garda Karting Lonato. Back on the 21st of February, the podium on that day was Arvid Brando and Igor Chepil, the driver from the Czech Republic. There he is, running in 10th place. Yesterday, the first round, or the first race of this doubleheader weekend was won by Lindblad from Brando with Karol Pashevic in third. Now Karol Pashevic is in second place. Fastest lap of the race, Brando Badoer. Down in 12th, though, fighting with Ian Eichmanns. Head of Keeble. Bertuka, as Dodds wants the podium here this afternoon in the Paralin. Spinner will make the move. There is nothing between these carts. Virtual championship at the bottom right of your screen. It is the IAMI powered Cart Republic. Position one, it's the Vortex powered. Tony Cart in second place. Maxwell Dodds, he's got a TM-powered Paralin and another IAMI-powered Cart Republic of Alfio Spinner in third place. The gap between Ugo and this battle for second place was 1.3 seconds. Stays the same. They find a rhythm. Lindblad, the series leader in position five. Head of Kuharczyk, there's the pole. And the Kubica Kart. The Ricky Flynn Motorsport twins of Slater and Irfan just behind. And it's Pingasoff 
and Igor Chepil. Maxim Rem and Sonny Smith have unfortunately joined the list of retirements here this afternoon. So here's Ugo. Last time around it was 1.3 seconds. Still the same. So Carroll isn't letting him get away. Half race distance at the end of this lap. This is the final of the WSK Supermaster Series next week. We race at Sarno, Napoli. The first round of the 2020 WSK Euro Series. As you see, Alfio, the inside rear skipping off the bitumen. There was an inch of daylight at least between his left rear Vega tyre and the Asheville here at Adria. The Kart Republic hooked up as is Pashevich's Tony Kart into the hairpin. Il Siciliano makes the move, goes through to position two. Pashevich back to third place, now under pressure from Maxwell Dodds. Alfio in second place, Carroll in third, in danger of falling off the podium. His championship is virtually gone unless something drastic happens to Arvid Limblad, who is closing in on the back of his battle. Dogs down the inside. Carol's off the podium. Carol's off the track. Carol's now behind Limblad, who goes through and takes third place. The series leader side by side does not need to do it. Arvid can finish in 10th place or lower and even take the title. Doesn't want to risk it. Carol's out of it. He's in the marbles. He's gone from second place at risk of falling outside the top 10. The Cosmics of the Ricky Flynn Motorsport team go through, as does Kulhacic in the RK Kubica Karts. What a lap. Half race distance in the OK Junior Final. Ugo with a lead of 1.5 seconds. But Ando Badoe, incidentally, another fastest lap. 49.837. Brando is in the 49th. The only other driver going that quick is Miram Pingasov. Everyone else in 50 points something. Brando down in 11th behind Igor Chepil ahead of Tuka Tapanen with a 49.837. He's the fastest driver on the circuit. Just trying to get in touch. There he is with this fight that stretches all the way up to the podium. Chepil goes defensive, fighting there with Karol Pashevich. Well, he was in second place, the pole. Now he comes across the line in 10th. Six laps remaining. Ugo 1.5 seconds ahead of Spinner and Maxwell Dodds. First race with the Paralin team for the English driver. Arvid Limblad over the ripple strip. He goes fourth place. That's more than enough to take the title. 388 points for Limblad versus 257 for Karol Pashevich. Spinner can just about take second away in the series. From Pashevich, Alfio is third on 246. And he's pulling away from this battle. He's got over a second now ahead of Dodds, Limblad, Kulhacic, and Slater. Five laps now remaining for the American. While well, this battle has raged, let's give some credit to the driver from New York, USA, Ugo Ugatuku. 1.5 seconds back to Spinner. Kart Republic, one. Kart Republic, two. And then the Paralene in third. There's Maxwell Dodds with the series leader breathing down his neck. As Slater and Irfan gang up on Miram Pingasov. They go through and take the Russian. Mid on in 308. One of only five Russian drivers here. Even though he does live in Spain these days, which does help. We've got one car that's retired at the exit of turn two. That's Tom Bracken. Yellow flag may be withdrawn just in time as Hugo goes by. Tom Bracken is also out, along with Aiden Neat. Maxim Rem, Sonny Smith, Gowda, and Verbruge, who went out on the first lap of the race. Dodd's being pressured from Arvid Limblad. Wants the podium. Will almost certainly take the title. 
in four laps time. There's Kuhachi catching the both of them. The English drivers, three and four. Max wants the podium desperately. His first run with the Paralin team. While everything has been happening in the world, Max decided to join the team from Bassano del Grappa. Not too far from here in the north of Italy. And a podium first time out would be a great reward. His family, his father Oli, watching on live from their home just outside Leeds in the north of England. Max in position three. Another fastest lap for Brando Badoe is into ninth place behind Pashevich. Second in the series, but down in ninth in this race. There's Arvid Lindblad from London in England. A victory yesterday in round three, a victory at Lonato in round two back in February. It's Miran Pingasov, the blue helmet of the Russian behind Slater, ahead of Pashevich. Just needs to bring it home, does not need to pass Max. It's Alfio Spinner in second place, a purple sector for the Sicilian. 1.3 seconds down to Ugo. The move up the inside. It's nicely done. But it's still not enough for the podium for Miriam Pingasov. Goes by Freddy Slater. Pashevich behind. But the wear again. 49.769. Taken something like four pole positions in his last six or seven races off memory. Certainly is quick podium yesterday but he won't make that a repeat here this afternoon there's Pingasov the Russian In the battle for the final step of the podium Arva does not need to do anything silly he's gone by into third place though Max wants it back Kuharchik does not care Kuharchik's down sixth in the series can't take the title Lindblad could almost pull into pit lane and park it and take it as they start the final lap of the race. Another fastest lap for Brando Ugo on his way to victory. Is the American here this afternoon. Spinner is catching him. Lindblad up into third place. The series leader half a lap away from the title. Kuharchik takes Dodds. He falls back to P5. Pingasov wants to attack as well. Out front, though, no one is going to catch the American. Ugo Ukachuku. He goes into the hairpin for the final time. The checkered flag is about to wave for the American. Ugo Ukachuku. He takes the victory here this afternoon. Spinner in second place. Across the line in third is Lindblad. And with that, he takes the 2020 WSK Super Masters Series Championship. He takes the title. A brilliant performance. All series which started back here at Adria on the first weekend of February. Ugo finally has the luck, puts it all together and takes a superb victory from Spinner by 1.1 seconds. And Lindblad on the podium for the race here this afternoon in third from Kulhachi and Pingasov. Commiserations to Maxwell Dodds. He held third for so long but falls to six. He's the second Brit home behind Harvard, ahead of Freddie Slater at the end of this 16 lap final. The bottom right of your screen, there's confirmation. Lindblad takes the title for 2020. Here are the results of the race. A well-deserved victory for Uga Chuku. It's a Kart Republic 1-2-3 spinner. Home in second place for the Chitila Racing Team. And Arvid Lindblad third is more than enough to take the title here this afternoon. Stay with us on WSK.IT, the podium presentation for the junior race and the junior championship in just a moment.
podium here this afternoon for the race, which we will award firstly followed by the championship. He did more than enough to take the title. He came home in third place from London in England, Hawkeart Republic in the race this afternoon, Albert Lindblad. In second place from Italy for the Cetila Racing Kart Republic team, Il Siciliano, Alfio Spinda. A brilliant drive and finally he had the luck also this afternoon for the Kart Republic team from the United States of America, the winner of the race, Ugo Ugatuku. Podium for the race, Arvid Limblad, Alfio Spinner, and Ugo wins the final here at Adria. And with that, the national anthem of the United States of America. The podium for the race, the final round of the WSK Supermaster Series. Arvid Lindblad, Alfio Spinner and Ugo takes the victory here this afternoon. Grazie Alfio, Ugo and thanks very much Arvid. They step off the podium and almost immediately we will proceed with the championship presentation for the OK Junior category, the WSK Supermaster Series for 2020. The WSK Supermaster Series in OK Junior for 2020. In third place on 248 points for Team Chetty Larkart Republic, Brando Badoer. In second place on 260 points for the Tony Kart Racing Team from Poland, Karol Pashevich. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top step of the podium from London in England for the Kart Republic team, the WSK Supermaster Series Champion 2020, Arvid Lindblad. Brandl third on 248 points, Carol 260 points, and Arvid a worthy champion for 2020 on 398 points. Ladies and gentlemen, the series podium for 2020. Stay with us on WSK.IT, the final of 60 Mini in just a moment.
2020 WSK Super Masters Series. Ironically, it concludes here in just a moment, even though this is the thir first race back since the end of February, since, well, you know what happened. We did start the year back here at Adria on the 26th of January. We had no idea, you had no idea, nobody had no idea what was to come. Well, I'm sure someone did. Well, we certainly had no idea, but we are delighted to be 